what is the best roller coaster at Hershey Park? It's such a challenging question to try to tackle because Hershey Park has one of the best roller coaster lineups in the world. But in this video, we're going to try to answer that very question. Before this video begins, we want to give a special shout out to Wildcat who commented about how they got stuck on Skyrush and got a fast track. If you want a shout out in the very next Hershey video, just make sure to comment down below, like the video, and subscribe. So there's so many different ways to tackle this question, but the best way I thought to go about it is to talk about the few main key players that could be the best roller coaster Hershey Park and give their arguments as to why and why they aren't the best roller coaster Hershey Park. At the very end of the video, I'll give my final verdict. The first coaster I want to talk about is none other than Wildcat's Revenge, the newest coaster at Hershey Park of when this video is being made. And shockingly, this is the first time I'm ever going to be talking about Wildcat's Revenge on this channel. And man, Wildcat's Revenge makes a great argument to be the best roller coaster at Hershey Park. It's got a little bit of everything. You want high speeds? It's got it. You want intense moments? You've got that too. You want inversions? You want zero G rolls, zero G stalls, a little bit of everything? This ride truly has it all. I think it's what makes Wildcat's Revenge such a compelling ride to talk about is really you can get any coaster lover and they're going to find something they like about Wildcat's Revenge. Whether you like being flipped upside down or you like traveling at high speeds or you just want an intense ride, Wildcat's Revenge can cater to all those audiences so it certainly has a place towards the top of the list for the best roller coaster at Hershey Park. The only real negative I have about Wildcat's Revenge is this ride doesn't really have an identity. It tries to be a little bit of everything but I'm not even sure if that's a negative. If that's the biggest negative that I can think of, that just goes to tell how amazing of a ride this is. I don't want to go super far in depth into all these rides, because I'd like to make individual videos talking about these rides much more in depth, but for now, Wildcat's Revenge certainly has a place near the top. Let's move from the back of the park to the front of the park and talk about the sweetest coaster owner of Candemonium, because Candemonium certainly has a strong argument as well. If you're looking for a coaster that's going to catch your eye and leave a lasting impression, this one is certainly it. This BM Hyper is the tallest, fastest, longest, and of course, sweetest coaster at the park, and in my opinion, it gives some of the best floater airtime on the entire East Coast. Definitely the best in the park. That's one of the main things I like about Kinemoim. It knows what it's good at, and it won't try to surprise you. Layout-wise, there's not going to be many shocking twists and turns, just lots of long, sustained camelback hills that will give you loads and loads of floater airtime, which is so much fun. You really feel like a bird flying through the sky throughout this ride. It's the best way to describe it. It gets a little bit fancy at the end with the wraparound around the Kisses Fountain. That's a very picturesque moment. But outside of that, this is a rather basic layout, but I kind of like that. Some may think the layout holds this ride back a little bit, I disagree. Cannon Williams is definitely another top contender for the best roller coaster at Hershey Park. If you want high speeds, this next coaster is for you. That's right, it's vertical horsepower, it's Storm Runner. And let's just tell how it is. If you like going at fast speeds on a roller coaster and that's it, this will be your favorite ride at Hershey Park, no doubt about it. While technically Storm Runner is not the fastest coaster at Hershey Park, that is Candemonium. The acceleration you get from that launch makes up for that and then some. It truly feels like the fastest roller coaster of the park every time I ride it. Combine that launch with some awesome elements like the flying snake dive, you got yourself an amazing roller coaster. The main gripe about Storm Runner is its ride's length. Just when it starts to get good, you're rolling into that brake run, and just when your experience has started, it's finished just in the blink of an eye. That may hold this ride back a little bit, I might have it a bit lower than the ride we talked about so far, but it certainly still has a case to be the best roller coaster at Hershey Park. Before we continue with the list, I want to rattle off a few roller coasters that just fall short in a few categories and are probably not a true contender for the best roller coaster at Hershey Park. Some of these rides include Lightning Racer, Laugh Track, Jolly Rancher Remix, Comet. There are just a few that come to mind that are, yes, very good rides that have their fans, but if we're talking for the best of the best, these rides fall a little bit short in some categories. A ride that really has a little bit of everything that certainly is a contender, however, is Fahrenheit. Just walking up to this thing and looking at that super imposing vertical lift hill, you know you're in for a treat already. And it wouldn't be Fahrenheit without talking about that amazing drop. When this drop was built, it was the steepest drop in the entire world, and it certainly held that title for a reason. This drop is just so incredible. You feel weightless as you curve inside, and it begins to ride with such a fast tempo and with one of the most awesome moments Hershey Park has to offer. A couple Cobra rolls and some other inversions later, Fahrenheit has 
a complete package. It really does. The thing with Fahrenheit, however, though, is this coaster has not aged the best compared to some of the others at the park. This ride has gained a significant rattle, where if you're not riding in the front row, you'll experience some periods of roughness, which I think holds this coaster a little bit back. But when this bad boy opened, man, it was one of my favorite roller coasters in the entire world. Did you hear that in the distance? It sounded like a roar, and it may have been coming from the Great Bear. What an underrated ride. This might be the most underrated ride that Hershey Park has. For being one of the oldest coasters in the park, you would never know it. Even decades after this thing opened, it still feels brand new with its smoothness, its intensity, and overall elaborate and unique layout. What makes Great Bear so special to me is how they incorporated this layout into a very tight area into the park. They somehow sandwiched this thing between the hollow and into Kissing Tower Hill. And you certainly feel that uniqueness. You, this layout is between very tight quarters. And that really allows some of these aversions to get more of that whip sensation because you're moving left, right, up and down in different directions so quickly, so swiftly. But for me, still falls just a little bit short. Just speaking as a coaster, as the overall unit, I still think Wildcat's Revenge and Kimmy are still a half tier above Great Bear. There's only one more coaster left to talk about, and I say this one for last for a reason, because this is what is, in my opinion, the best roller coaster at Hershey Park, and that is, of course, Sky Rush. This Intamin Hyper Coaster is always observed as being one of the most intense roller coasters in the entire world, and when it comes to me, intensity is the number one thing I love about roller coasters, which is why I have Sky Rush at the top of this list. This ride really just feels like a car crash that was built onto a roller coaster. I can't tell you how many times I've grayed out on that first opening drop, especially when you're in that back row, nothing beats it. But that's just my opinion. If you don't like intensity, Sky Rush probably won't be your favorite roller coaster. If the restraint's buggy, which for me, they really do not bother my thighs, this ride will probably not be your favorite roller coaster at Hershey Park. That's what kind of I came to when I was evaluating all these rides. Hershey Park really has something for everybody, and everybody's going to have a different opinion probably about what they think the best roller coaster is at the park. Some may think it's Wildcat, others might think it's Great Bear. Heck, I'm a Lightning Racer fanboy, I could even understand why some would think Lightning Racer is the best roller coaster at Hershey Park. That may be a bit of a stretch, but I seriously think an argument could be made. But for what I like about roller coasters, which is that pure, intense feeling, Skyrush packs a punch a bit more than everything else at the park. So that's why Sky Rush is, in my opinion, the best roller coaster at Hershey Park. But I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. What do you think the best roller coaster at Hershey Park is? Let me know in the comments down below. Speaking of Sky Rush, if you want to watch a video I recently made about talking about the time I got stuck on Sky Rush, you should click that end card now. But with that, that's all I have for you for this video. This is the Hershey Act. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hope to see you soon. Peace.